Testing for pregnancy has become a lot easier in the last 50 years. There are still some situations in which interpreting the results of a pregnancy test can be tricky. One of those situations is when certain medications are given during fertility treatment. Stay tuned and I will explain. attempting pregnancy with IVF and you are doing a fresh embryo transfer, in order to be able to interpret a pregnancy test correctly, you must know what kind of medications you used. The final medications given before an IVF egg retrieval are called the trigger injections. In general, there are three different medication options your doctor may choose for you. Option one is to take a medication called HCG or human chorionic gonadotropins alone. Commonly used brands of HCG include Pregnil or Avidrel. Option two is a group of medications called GnRH agonists. Common brands are Lupron or Superfact. Option three is a combination of the two, which is referred to as a dual trigger. Why is this important? A pregnancy test measures HCG in your blood or urine. If you have taken HCG as part of your trigger injections, the HCG can circulate in your blood for a few weeks. Over time, the levels get lower, but there is often enough HCG left in your body to make a pregnancy test look positive even if you are not pregnant. The higher the dose of HCG used, the greater the chance for getting a false positive. But even low doses of HCG can fool you. For this reason, during a fresh embryo transfer, a urine pregnancy test, which only tells you positive or negative, is not a good option. You simply cannot tell if the test is measuring HCG from a pregnancy or HCG from your trigger injection. A blood test which gives an HCG number, which is called a quantitative HCG, is therefore the preferred method for determining if you are pregnant after a fresh embryo transfer. However, you will need to do at least two blood tests a few days apart to know for sure. Here's why. If you have HCG left in your body from an injection, as time goes on, these levels will continue to drop. If you are trying to determine if you are pregnant after a fresh embryo transfer, and your HCG number drops over the course of a couple of days, it could be either a non-viable pregnancy or just leftover HCG. It's impossible to tell the difference. If the level of HCG in your blood goes up, even a little bit, that means there is a pregnancy producing HCG in your body, so you can be sure that you are really pregnant. How can you tell if you have a viable pregnancy? That is more difficult. I covered that in this video. What if you're doing a frozen embryo transfer? Most commonly, in a frozen embryo transfer cycle, the uterus is prepared using two medications, estrogen first, followed by progesterone. Because no medications containing HCG are given, there are more options for doing a pregnancy test. First, it is possible to do a urine pregnancy test. A positive result reliably indicates that an embryo has implanted and is producing enough HCG to turn the test positive. A negative result on a urine test could mean you are not pregnant. However, since the levels of HCG required to give a positive test are much higher, a negative urine test doesn't prove with 100% certainty that you are not pregnant. It could be that the levels are too low to be detected. A positive blood test will also reliably indicate that you are pregnant. Unlike a fresh embryo transfer, with a frozen embryo transfer, you only need one blood test to be sure you are pregnant. Different blood tests used to measure HCG can have different sensitivities, and so the number needed to indicate a positive result could be different. Make sure that you ask your doctor what number indicates a positive result. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.